Hey guys, Audrey from Piping Hot Artworks. Have you ever looked at something really ugly and actually thought to yourself, hmm, I kind of like it. No, I'm not talking about your ex-wife or your boyfriend. So moving on, awkward silence. Yes, we are actually talking about corrosion, rust, oxidation. And in today's video, we are gonna be doing a synthetic patina in copper accent on wood. So if you're interested, tune in. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around. I'm Audrey from Piping Hot Artworks, where we turn the ordinary into the extraordinary. And on our channel, we focus on industrial home decor, decorations, and DIY projects. If you're into that jazz, stick around. There's a lot more to come. First thing you're gonna need is paint. I used uh, a Verde paint by 10 Second Studios, which apparently is no longer selling. So I have a similar one listed in the description. They're all pretty similar. I started with a piece of wood that was painted with Minwax Dark Walnut Stain, and I applied one coat to the copper, which you can already see here. And since my wood was distressed, I just tried to put it in to the wood in different angles, um, try to make it look more natural. Then I applied a second coat, after which you don't let it dry you apply this patina spray to it right away and I sped this effect up but you can see that it went patina wild like patina gone wild and I wasn't really expecting this I think it's super good for a larger piece of wood but it was just way too much for my smaller piece so I got scurred I took a sanding block to it hoping maybe it would just level out some of the patina, make it less pronounced. Boy, was I wrong. So I applied a third coat of the copper to it, thinking maybe in copper inside of the patina in some strategically placed areas would make it a little bit less pronounced. And I took a dry cloth to it, rubbed it in, tried to work my magic but nonetheless I failed out of Hogwarts and I was not satisfied with the result. So in desperation what do I do? I add more Minwax Dark Walnut to it which to be honest I was actually happier with the effect. I only wanted a little bit of undertone of patina and my piece had just been kind of just totally overrun by it. This is the second piece that I had done. Um, you can see a picture of both of them when they are finished. But I applied the same techniques where I added additional Minwax to it and a fourth coat of the copper to it just to make it really pop. I think it created a more natural look to it. In person, it definitely is a lot more beautiful. Pictures don't do it justice because I'm not a photographer by trade. So I apologize. Here's pretty much the finished product. Extremely happy with it because it was just hints of the patina underneath of the copper. And to be honest, when the copper is displayed, you can hardly see it. It's more like um, in the sunlight, you get glimmers of it. The patination is complete. What did you think? Put in the comments below. Personally, it was a little too much patina for me, at least on this piece of wood. It was a little bit smaller for it to expand the way that it did, which is why I ended up going back over it with a dark walnut, which actually turned out pretty cool. So I'm happy with the effect in the end. I think it's a good learning experience and something I'll consider doing maybe on a much larger piece. But thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you stick around and hit subscribe and notify on our channel so that way you guys can tune in to more fun DIY projects just like this.